on June 13, 1925, in the church Saint Ferdinand des Termes in Paris, a large crowd was attending a funeral. This crowd was composed of women with children in their arms or holding their hands, but also of personalities. Prime Minister Paul Painlevé, the highest ranking military officer, Marshal Franchet d'Esperet, followed by several generals, chiefs of states from all over Europe, the greatest, most respected doctors, scientists, university teachers, writers, and several celebrities. This man wasn't a politician or a trained military officer, doctor, or scientist, but what his great discoveries gave to the world was immeasurable, and the French people were overcome with grief and cried the loss of their benefactor. His works and experiences were published worldwide in leading scientific magazines and newspapers. Great contemporary celebrities paid homage to him. Maurice Barrès, for instance, declared, only in his presence did I feel face to face with genius. He was considered by the scientific community of his time to have had the same importance as Pasteur and Darwin. Who was this man? What did he do to be so highly respected? And mostly, how was a celebrity like him completely forgotten by history? This documentary tells the story of René Quinton, a self-taught man who in his early 30s, despite having no degree in science, revolutionized medicine and biology. His theory of evolution was considered more accurate than Darwin's. His treatment of germs, bacteria and viruses was quite different from Pasteur's. An article in the paper L'Intransigeant said in 1907, what is Pasteur's approach? It's a drug particular to one illness, a drug that attacks a given microbe and no other. What is Quinton's approach? It's a marine plasma that doesn't attack any particular microbe, except that it gives the organic cell the strength to fight all of them. With his method, he saved countless lives. All of his experiments were officially registered and their results scientifically proven. His treatment, very well known at the time as Canton Plasma, was based on seawater. With his laws of constancy, based on irrefutable experiments, not only did he demonstrate that life originated in the sea, but also that this marine environment is our organism's main composition. The sea is literally our blood. This film will take you on a journey that will reveal the greatness of a man ahead of his time, unfairly forgotten, shortly after the invention of penicillin and antibiotics. 
Synthetic drugs with side effects now dominate modern medicine. Yet his discovery was proven highly effective and innocuous. Have we lost connection to the sea that mirrors our original internal environment, a veritable living aquarium?